Now and then, the Mackie 69 are here. How are you diddling? Right, if you're one of these Borough fans, rah rahs or whatever, or you just don't like when Borough fans say something negative about Borough fans, then I can guarantee this isn't the video for you. So piss off, go much. Some fucking Steve Agnew highlights from last season or something, you mad cunts. Um, but if you're a Borough fan like me who loves Borough and will just call a piece of shit a piece of shit, then just carry on. Today against Wolves, I was expecting a hungry fucking team to go out there and just fucking, not necessarily fucking demolish Wolves, you know what I mean? But to give it a fucking good go. I expected at least a draw, at least a goal. It was fucking appalling, man. We didn't even step it up until like the last 20 minutes or so like that, which is honestly better than last season, I'll give you that. Which is fucking horrendous, man. We're still making the same shit mistakes that we were last season. <laughs> Why is the ball constantly clearing our defensive midfielder and the two centre backs all the fucking time? And then it goes it goes forward a bit, we go down one wing, we get into a decent position, you think just fucking put it in the box or something. And what they do? Pass it back to Clayton, who runs back the halfway line, passes it to the centre-back, who passes it to the left-back, and goes up the other wing, tries it again, fucks up again, goes back to Clayton, passes to the centre-back, and then they just fucking launch it upfield, and we get fucking nowhere. It's absolutely fucking appalling, man. One thing that was good today, which, like I say, I'll give you, we looked a bit more attacking, we had a bit more... Something about us, although we still only got like two shots on target, which was about our average last season anyway. But there was something different about us, like the front three. Don't know how the fuck he missed that header eight yards out. He didn't even fucking get it on target. I mean, fucking hell. Man, Anna could have done that. You know what I mean? She's in a fucking wheelchair. She could have done that. Fucking hell. But Patrick Bamford, he, he was probably my man of the match, but he came on as a fucking sub, do you know what I mean? So it doesn't really say much. But um, it's just the same old, same old from last season. It just fucking just wears you down and shit, man. I think from last season and from that first game, I know you're saying, no, oh, it's only the first game. Stop, stop fucking shitting yourself, blah, blah, blah. But it's, it's not, it has to be fucking addressed. These players have played for us for a while and they're in over the Reds, man. We've got fucking Ayala. Fucking hell. Horrendous. It, these players have need to be replaced and sold or kept as emergency backup. I'd even play the kids ahead of these. But um even retrained in different positions, but I don't know where you'd fucking put Ayala. He's a fucking liability. But um yeah, Ayala. Friend, he's just he's oh, he's just shit man. He was good in the championship the last time we were here, but he's just shit now, man. He's massive massively overrated. Um, Clayton, I mean, fucking hell, Clayton, you can't even take a fucking corner, fuck me, no, he, he needs to go, he's just fucking horrendous, and Forshaw, Clayton Forshaw could probably be retrained to be a right back or something, or like I say, bringing it on to, to keep it tight if, we, if we've got a lead, but another good thing is, this, how daft does this even sound, that we made subs this season, so we're in this game, before 80 minutes. Do you remember last season when we were making subs on 80 minutes or 89? What the fuck's that about? But yeah, we made plenty of subs, so that's a fair one. But we just need to change it up. If, if we just continue playing like we did that game, which is exactly how we played last season, we're not going to only not get promoted. We're going to fucking struggle down the bottom, man. Mark my fucking words. If we continue like that, if there isn't changes, we will fucking struggle in this league. It's not an easy league. And we are not a fucking good team. <laughs> anyway, you know, fucking hell. Fingers crossed that we pull our fingers out for the next match. Oh, the uh, Borat. See you later.